Let's check out the process of painting these bad boys. What's up guys, Tristan Minton here, AKA Pager One. Today, we're gonna be painting these ramps. I got these things probably six months to a year ago from Black River Ramps, they're really awesome. Extremely well built stuff for fingerboarding. I've had a blast on this thing, but uh, I'm ready to paint both of them. They just kinda are in this raw wood look. I'm ready to update it. After I update the base coats, I'll probably end up painting a bunch of graffiti on these things or characters or tags or whatever I do, but for now I need to mask everything off and then get to actually just laying down some base coats. Fingerboarding in general I'm fairly new to. I just kind of found out about it a year ago and I had no idea how large the community and industry is for it. There's a good amount of awesome companies out there that are just building extremely extremely cool well-built fingerboards and obstacles and you kind of name it it's out there it's pretty in pretty incredible anyway i base coat this whole thing with acrylics um i, I used golden and liquitex and just kind of mixed a couple colors together take a gray and then i was also going to add a little bit of black and white in there just for some texture and so it's not all flat. Like I said, I'll probably end up painting these things all crazy later, but for now I wanted to get this base coat semi-realistic. So taping off all the stuff, pretty slow process honestly when you're doing it, so. Most important steps, but they always take the longest. Get out my safety yellows. And I used just a couple colors of yellow so that, again, it's not flat. Hair texture in it. Get these stairs painted real nice. Let this thing air dry for a little bit. And then, of course, the peel and reveal. Let you guys enjoy this part. Ah, what a glorious sound thing turned out pretty awesome because it kind of pretty well exactly what I was thinking. A little bit of a concrete look with some yellow curve painting. Match a bunch of this other stuff I got. And just smashed a couple yellows in there. Then once it's dry, peel these nice little tapies. Awesome seeing the crispy lines that it didn't bleed too much so everything looks pretty good next I know that I'm probably gonna beat these up pretty well so I want to put a little bit of varnish on top of this we'll just help hold everything together make the ramp a hair stronger and give it a final coat get these rails back on here And these things are ready to shred. Thanks a ton for checking out the video. Hope it can inspire you to get out there and get some fingerboarding in your life. It's the best skateboard nerd hobby out. Like I said, I appreciate everyone who supports. Page one, signing off. New videos are going to be coming soon.